It is currently March 2023. I've never been good at setting New Year's resolutions. So instead, I've waited till now and made up some goals for my manga collecting. Want to see me complete my goals? Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> oh, we are back with another video. Woo! Okay, goal number one. I desperately need more shelf space. <laughs> As you may have seen by watching my collection tour, I don't actually have a lot of room for new volumes. Luckily, this goal has already been complete, thanks to the help of my lovely parents. We have built three lovely new bookshelves on one side of my wall. I love them. Uh, it's allowed me now to put my other box sets on the shelves as well, so instead of like hiding in a corner or under the bed, they're out on display. Uh, and I still have some room left too. Which also brings me into my next point. I seriously need to unhaul some manga. The stuff I've read and didn't enjoy, the stuff I'm really not interested in at the moment and I could probably let go. If I want, I can always collect it again in the future. It's not a big deal. We need space now for stuff I want to read now. Um, and also, like single volumes of stuff that I could probably get a box set for. So for example, Princess Jellyfish, Assassination Classroom. I know it's not one volume. Like I have, I have 11 volumes of Assassination Classroom. This decision was really hard, but I decided it, I'm not gonna read it anytime soon. So I've, so I've sold all of my Assassination Classroom and I decided I'll just get the box set in the future if I really wanna read it. Not a big deal. We can get past it. <laughs> um, here is a bunch of stuff that I have already decided to get rid of. Um, <laughs> funnily enough, this is only about half of it. Uh, my sister came round when I was sorting them out and took a whole bunch, but the rest are on sale on my Depop. If anyone's interested, it's there. <laughs> I'll put a link below. My other goal. Should we say my second? I guess it's my third technically, isn't it? The second goal was unhauling. We got to that. Third goal is to condense my pre-order list. And now this is going to be so difficult. So I'm gonna take you on this roller coaster of a journey as I try and decide what I'm gonna get rid of. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I have, my pre-order list is way too long and we need to condense it. Even if it's just by half, it would still be quite a lot, but it will be better. And I really, really need to, even though I really, really don't want to. So let's just see how that goes. So, <laughs> these are everything I have been pre-ordering when they come out and I need to condense this at least by half, or at least to 10, I would say, to make my life a lot easier. And I don't have a lot of shelf space, so I can't. If I want to complete stuff, I need to get rid of buying stuff. So, <sighs> this is gonna be hard because I don't wanna stop purchasing anything. There are two I can probably easily say goodbye to, and that is A Way of the House Husband. Only because I haven't even read volume eight, and it's a story I can read whenever. So, goodbye you. Yeah, it was easy. Another one I'm sort of considering easy is probably Sakamoto Days. As much as I have been enjoying that, there are just other series I love more and I'm gravitating towards more in collecting. And Sakamoto Days being new, not going anywhere. Um, I'm not worried about collecting that in the future, so I'm pausing that. Now we get to the hard parts because most of these are probably romance based stories because that just seems to be what I enjoy the most um with exception Kaiju number 8 because that's fucking amazing and that's staying on the list that is not going anywhere <laughs> so I'm just gonna move that up because Spy Family also excellent not going anywhere I really just want to keep up to date with that right they're staying okay that part done now we get to the heart Blue period. See, I feel like that's going to end anytime soon. I don't know how many volumes it's going to be. I thought it was only going to be about 11 or 12, but there's already a thing up to 14. So, I'm like, 
I'm already on like up to volume 12 but I also haven't been reading this series like do I just continue it to complete it or should I, I might as well wait right and then collect other things I'm more interested in this one means this is so difficult um no okay we won't we'll put it we'll put it as definite and then I guess maybes or like maybe I'll collect that sooner than these ones I don't know um which means I won't need that anymore <laughs> see what I mean 14 already yeah anyway um apothecary diaries I have to keep that I just I have to it's it's too good to say no I know I want to stay on top of it I've seen a thing I don't know if the anime is coming out of it but if there is I've seen the animation on it looks beautiful and I hope well, that's a thing so yeah um a sign of affection another one that's like yes please because it's such a slow release. We got to volume five and then it's just really slowed down, so I'm gonna say yes. Um My dress up darling. Oh this is gonna pain me. I'm looking at this, I know this stuff I probably care more about, but this is gonna hurt. Same with skip and loafer. Oh, this hurts. But I'm gonna stop with those. They could go in the same boat. That that hurts. But I know there's stuff in here I really, really want to get. Jujutsu Kaisen probably not, <laughs> because that that's just gonna be around for ages. So we're not. See, um, you know when you get the fear of missing out and you want to collect them when they're released that's that's me and that's half the reason i think this pre-order list got so long because i just don't want to have to say wait a year for them to reprint and that's part of the reason i started collecting so much in one go but i think i can go over that a little bit now especially with some series like jujutsu kaisen no worry like if i have to wait i have to wait i'm only on like volume two anyway so it's not a big deal um, but yeah, that's kind of like what I'm dealing with right now. This, this hurts. Like, I am super enjoying Skip and Loafer, but I know there's stuff in here I want to read more. Oh, I don't, I hate doing this. I need to do it though. Witch and the Beast, I kind of want to keep on top of, for sure. My Love Mix-Up is a no-brainer, that can stay. <laughs> I love that freaking series. Cheeky Brat. Generic shoujo even though it's really good it can go down here i think i think that was pretty easy lovesick ellie now this has been such a fun read but then my happy marriage that that was even better so if we think of it like that you can go down here oh okay goodbye um in the clear minute dusk, super good. I really, really want to continue that as well as Yakuza Fiance. Like they, they're both just like been really good to me. Like I just, oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. It's not with the red hair. You all know I've put a pause in it. I am on volume, I stopped at volume 9, like I read volume 19 and I haven't read past because we're gonna go into probably like a new arc or whatever and it ended in a good point. And as much as I want to stay on top of it, I think I'll be okay because I am pausing it. So until, until I come off pause when there's more volumes out, maybe I can just like get them all in one go. So maybe I can like go snort with the red hair. Even though I freaking love that series, oh, uh, it's moving down. And then on or off, I, I, right. So I've read all of on and off, on or off, um, and it was super good. So it's not like I need to have it like physically because I've read it, but I also want to own it physically because it was awesome. <laughs> 
it's I'm gonna keep it longer and say how well have I, I'd say that's about half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's one extra than half. I mean we can't split nineteen, but would you say I did pretty good? Like I think I think I'm happy with this. Spy family, occasional mate, plus code diaries, son of perfection, witch and the beast, my love makes up, my have marriage, and the claim just because I feel safe. Run her off. Uh, I just stopped dying, skipping life though. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, this is this is probably the best I'm gonna get. Yeah, I'm also. You know what? See, I read up to volume four of In the Climate that. I mean, like, disc, I really enjoyed it so much I started reading it online, so even if I collect the volumes, it's kind of pointless because I read up to date. But then it was also really good, and I want to own it physically, kind of like with on or off. And then I can loan out the pe my friends. <laughs> How ruthless do I be? <laughs> I don't think I can bring myself to do it. Okay, this. This is our list. 10 volumes and considering that's going to be split up like they're all not going to be released in one month I think I think that's good enough I think we did what we needed to do here <laughs> even though it's so sad okay that will do yes goal four I really need to start focusing on things that I really want to complete or um, actually read through so for example Soul Eater I have I'm so close to finishing that I've got to volume 19 at the moment so there's only 25 volumes in the whole of it and I am already currently on volume 14 so I definitely want to collect the whole of that, have it complete and finish reading it. That will be so amazing. Um, another one, probably Witch Hat Atelier, I really would just want to complete that one. Um, probably, I wouldn't, it's less of completing but I would really like to catch up with Yona of the Dawn and Noragami because two great series honestly right there and i just yeah i want to be up to date with those maybe i'll have to stop with the pre-ordering of those but if i can at least like sort of catch up that would be amazing and then that sort of brings me on to my fifth goal i think i think we're on number five i'm not sure this would be to actually read the completed stuff because I have so many volumes on the go at the moment, um, especially like I said with my pre-orders, like the stuff I'm keeping up to date with like Kaiju number no. 8 for example, and Lovesick Ellie, and <laughs> My Love Mix Up, <laughs> and we can go on. Like two new series like Yakuza Fiance, really enjoying that. In the Clear Moon at Dusk, really enjoying that. Sasaki and Miyano, which is a slow release. but. Uh, you, you see you see the problem um there's a lot of things i've been reading that are ongoing so i really want to focus this year on finishing series in my collection that are complete so like my dora hey doro i should really finally get through that i'm only on volume eight i've been on volume eight for probably a year now so <laughs> dora hey doro definitely i'd like to read like i said i want to finish lolita so that's on there or on high school host club i've had that box set for what two years maybe Maybe it's only been a year. Either way, I've had it for a while. Haven't touched it. Really want to read that. Really, really want to read After the Rain because I, I got to like volume three and I just stopped. So maybe finish that. I was reading Yona of the Dawn. <laughs> I'm on volume like 12. I was reading Noragami. I was on volume like eight. <laughs> like I just, I started reading um, Maid Summer. <laughs> like I really need to start prioritizing i still haven't finished goodnight poon poon and i told myself i would finish that last month so there's a goal already failed this is why we are setting goals now and we're gonna succeed this year <laughs> i also want to catch up with blue period like this is just i'm looking around at my collection now and i'm just like like i don't have to rush this i can read these as slowly as i like but it'll be nice to actually complete things to so stop i need to stop pausing on random volumes in the middle to read something else i think it's just my way my mind is because i i know i already know i will forget what happened and then i'll go back to it and i'll have to probably either start again or a couple volumes back like we're not doing that anymore we're gonna we're gonna i've been good so far i've only been reading solita and okay i have been reading a couple of my pre-orders but for the most part my main focus 
has been Solita, and we're gonna keep it that way. After Solita, I'll probably read Dora Hey Dora, for example. Like, priorities. Anyway, that's one of the goals. This next goal is probably sort of conflicting with another goal, because I said I wanted to condense my collection and condense my pre-order list, but I also want to focus on some new series that are coming out this year. <laughs> Like, there's stuff I want to get into. I wouldn't mind getting into more isekai, I know. Oh my god, getting into isekai, are you stupid? Right, okay, listen. Um, I, re I really enjoyed The Saviour's Book Cafe in Another World. Like, I know it's a romance. It, it was so good, and I don't think it is because it was an isekai, but it just made me want to try some. And I also started reading, I also started reading a villainess one. Villains are destined to die. I started reading that. Oh my god, it's so good, okay. I probably am saying, I don't know if it's like super good with that genre, it's the first for the last one I've ever read, but so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to try some more isekai. I do really like adventure stories, like I've been really enjoying Fleurin, but it does make me want to try some more isekai. So we'll see if I do that, but I will be very picky with what I choose, I think. Like it will be, it'll be very specific to the things that I like, but yeah, I wouldn't mind trying some more of that. I also kind of want to get into horror there's a maybe not like too into it like i still think i'm again gonna be quite picky with this stuff but for example there is one coming out this year that i'm super excited for called my summer of hikaru i think it's called it's something like that my summer with hikaru and it looks really good and i want to give it a try and i'm not normally into like that like thriller uh, horror sort of thing but it seems really interesting so maybe I'll start off with something like that and maybe it'll lead me down a rabbit hole who knows so those are my goals for this year and probably moving forward as well that is all for today's video I hope you did enjoy if you did give this video a thumbs up it helps out the channel maybe subscribe for more and to follow along and see if I actually complete these goals <laughs> watch me be like a huge manga haul in like August or something and you guys are like Kaylee, I thought you were cutting down on your manga spending. <laughs> oh well. With that said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.